Welcome to our channel. Today, we have an essential topic for individuals living with diabetes and healthcare professionals alike. We'll be diving into a comprehensive list of various insulin formulations available on the U.S. market and understanding their roles and uses in diabetes management. Insulin is a crucial hormone for people with diabetes, helping regulate blood sugar levels and ensuring overall health. With so many insulin options out there, it can be overwhelming to choose the right one for specific needs. So let's break down each type, its characteristics, and how they play a vital role in diabetes care. Whether you or your loved ones are managing diabetes, this information can be a game changer in achieving better blood sugar control and improving quality of life. So let's get started. But before we begin, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for such amazing and informative videos. Rapid Acting Insulin Rapid acting insulins, such as insulin Lispro and insulin Aspart, play a critical role in managing blood sugar levels for individuals with diabetes. These insulins are engineered for rapid absorption and quick onset, typically taking effect within 15 minutes after injection. Their peak action occurs within one to two hours, making them ideal for managing the sharp increase in blood sugar that follows meal consumption. By closely mimicking the body's natural insulin response to food intake, rapid-acting insulins help regulate post-meal blood sugar spikes effectively. The shorter duration of action, lasting up to four hours, allows for better timing flexibility, enabling individuals to take these insulins either just before or immediately after meals. This flexibility is especially beneficial for people who have unpredictable or varying eating schedules. Rapid-acting insulins are indispensable tools for achieving optimal glycemic control as they aid in maintaining blood sugar levels within a target range and preventing hyperglycemia after meals. Working closely with healthcare professionals to determine the appropriate dosage and timing of rapid-acting insulins can significantly enhance diabetes management and overall well-being. Short-acting insulin Short-acting insulins, like regular human insulin, are another essential component of diabetes management. Although they also begin to take effect within 30 minutes of injection, they have a slightly delayed peak action at around two to four hours after administration. The duration of action for short-acting insulins typically lasts between six to eight hours, providing coverage throughout this period. These insulins are particularly useful for managing blood sugar levels in between meals when the body requires a continuous supply of insulin to keep blood glucose stable. Additionally, Short-acting insulins are commonly used to correct high blood sugar levels or to address unexpected spikes due to factors like stress or illness. Their ability to respond promptly to changes in blood sugar levels allows for swift adjustments to maintain glycemic control effectively. While rapid-acting insulins are preferred for mealtime management, short-acting insulins offer the advantage of versatility and can be used for various diabetes management scenarios. Intermediate acting insulin. Intermediate acting insulins, such as NPH insulin, play a crucial role in diabetes management as a basal insulin. Unlike rapid and short acting insulins, intermediate acting insulins have a slower onset, starting to work within one to two hours after injection they reach their peak effect at around 4 to 12 hours, providing a more extended duration of action that lasts up to 24 hours. This unique profile makes them ideal for delivering background insulin coverage throughout the day, helping to maintain stable blood sugar levels between meals and during periods of fasting. Due to their more prolonged action, Intermediate acting insulins are often used in combination with rapid acting insulins to create a comprehensive insulin regimen that addresses both mealtime glucose spikes and baseline insulin needs. MPA insulin is commonly administered once or twice daily, depending on the individual's insulin requirements and blood sugar goals. 
Its versatility and affordability make it a popular choice for many people with diabetes, especially those who require a more cost-effective insulin option. As with any insulin therapy, close collaboration with healthcare professionals is essential to determine the appropriate insulin dose and ensure optimal blood sugar control for improved overall diabetes management. By incorporating intermediate acting insulins into the treatment plan, Long-acting insulin. Long-acting insulins, such as insulin glargine and insulin detinger, are integral to diabetes management as they provide a steady and consistent release of basal insulin. Unlike rapid, short, or intermediate-acting insulins, long-acting insulins have a slow and gradual onset, ensuring a sustained level of insulin in the bloodstream. They lack a pronounced peak which helps avoid sudden drops in blood sugar levels and can last up to 24 hours or even longer, depending on the specific formulation. These characteristics make long-acting insulins ideal for maintaining stable blood sugar levels between meals and overnight, serving as a reliable basal insulin option. Individuals with diabetes often use long-acting insulins once daily providing continuous coverage of insulin needs throughout the day. Pre-mixed insulin. Pre-mixed insulins offer a convenient and simplified approach to diabetes management by combining rapid-acting or short-acting insulins with intermediate-acting insulins in a single injection. These insulins are available in different ratios, such as 70 30 or 50 50 to cater to various insulin requirements. The rapid-acting or short-acting component provides coverage for mealtime glucose spikes, mimicking the body's natural insulin response after eating. On the other hand, the intermediate-acting insulin component delivers basal insulin coverage, maintaining stable blood sugar levels throughout the day. For individuals who prefer to minimize the number of daily injections, pre-mixed insulins can be a practical option as they offer both mealtime and basal insulin coverage in one shot. However, it's essential to note that pre-mixed insulins may not be as flexible as separate injections of rapid-acting and intermediate-acting insulins as they come in fixed ratios. Therefore, individuals with varying insulin needs throughout the day may find other insulin regimens more suitable. Inhaled insulin Inhaled insulin offers a non-injectable alternative for individuals with diabetes who may be hesitant or uncomfortable with traditional insulin injections. Administered through a specialized device that delivers insulin in a fine powder form, it is absorbed through the lungs. This method provides a rapid onset of action, mimicking the body's natural insulin response to food intake, making it ideal for covering post-meal glucose spikes. Inhaled insulin is particularly beneficial for individuals who have difficulty with injections or require insulin only at meal times. However, it is essential to note that inhaled insulin is not suitable for everyone. Individuals with chronic lung diseases like asthma or COPD should avoid using inhaled insulin due to potential complications. Additionally, inhaled insulin may not be as flexible as injectable insulins when it comes to adjusting doses throughout the day, as it is specifically designed for mealtime use. Like any insulin therapy, it requires careful monitoring of blood sugar levels and close communication with healthcare professionals to ensure optimal glycemic control. Did you learn something new about today that you didn't know before? We hope you did. So, if you're interested in learning more amazing facts, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified by our new videos. Please like and share the video, don't forget to comment down your views on this. Thanks for watching till the end.